Hey, welcome back to the channel, Red Dirt Designs. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how I used a fine point pen and watercolor to paint this bee. All right, to get started, I just printed off my image, used graphite, and I scribble on the back. All right, and then we're gonna center it up to the paper. I'll put a couple pieces of like painter's tape on each corner so it doesn't move, and then we'll go ahead and draw it out. I would normally use painter's tape, but since all I have is automotive masking tape, it's a little more tacky, so I dull it down on my pant leg. The lint off your pants will dull down the tape. It's an old trick that I learned years ago. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and draw out all my details. Here I'm just quickly drawing in all the really simple details. I'm not going real advanced with this, just trying to make sure I get all the proportions correct. The sizing, that's usually the hardest part about getting an image right, especially on something like a bee or a bird or a butterfly. Everything has to be very proportional to one side to the other. Otherwise it becomes very obvious that you're not got your sizing correct. So that's basically all this is for. We're going to go ahead and peel this up and check. If you notice, it just barely leaves an outline. It's very, very soft, which is what I want. You don't want the image to be really dark because I'm going to be drawing over it with these. I got these uh, fine point marker type pins on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. This is the very first time I've ever done an image like this. so. I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but I'm just having fun with it. We're trying out these new pins. I'm just going to see if they'll work out all right. I'm also just going to test out some watercolors later and see if maybe I can, I don't know, add some color to this image. I haven't done watercolor in a really long time, so I got my son over there. He's kind of doing his own little flower drawing for his own YouTube channel, and it's uh, Dream In It, so check out his channel. If you like uh, watercolor, if you like Minecraft, gaming stuff, he does a lot of that over there. This is all not part of the drawing, but it adds to the artistic look of it. So like in the actual painting, there's no none of these lines right here. But I want it to look sketched. I don't want it to look too perfect. So I am literally doing shading with just a bunch of lines. All right, let's see that. If you look, my gray, it's just barely there and it's just reference marks. I'm pretty much redrawing it to where it looks more in a style that I kind of like. So we're going to keep going. I don't know if I'm going to stain the paper or I'm going to make it look old. I don't know what I'm all doing yet to make it look more artistic, but so far it's just a, a pen drawing, like a fine point pen drawing. Here's a close up. This is kind of showing you the details I'm getting in there. I'm get starting to put in some shading. I'm putting more and more lines. The thicker and the more lines I do, the darker it gets. So that kind of gives it some some uh, definition, some gives it that three-dimensional look. Gets it out of that 2D look. If you notice I skip around a lot. I go from wing back over to the fur. 
I'll go from one side to the other and I do that because if I stay in one area too much I'll start making mistakes. If I jump around it makes me pay attention to each detail so I skip around to make sure that I keep the details random and I don't it'll keep me more accountable on uh, getting my uh, artistic side on. <laughs> Right here I'm doing the black stripes. I'm not going to do anything with the yellow ones because if I go back in with watercolor that'll do the the yellow. So I don't want to put too much in that area. I'm going to let the paints do the job there of the shading mainly. So I put in minimal shading on the white or the yellow stripes. You notice that on the black stripes I'm not filling them in all the way. I'm going to let that white shine through so it's like the shiny spot because if you ever notice on a bee it kind of reflects back. That also gives it dimension just like the shading does on the sides. There's the finished bee drawing. Next I gotta put some color to it. Gotta make sure you sign your work. This paper is actually kind of hard to sign but I sure do love this paper. It's handmade paper I just got at a Hobby Lobby but I'll have a link in the description of some awesome paper it has more of a vintagey kind of a sun faded kind of aged look and I believe that my next project I'll probably do it on that paper because that's what I was wanting to begin with they just didn't have it at Hobby Lobby they only had this white but I do love the hand made paper it gives it that rough textury look see what I did in the middle just hardly anything it's just mainly water and the reason I do that is it makes it even lighter right here and I need it and then to make it darker I'm going to add orange. Look, we're going to add some orange and a touch of brown. Notice I mixed a little bit of orange in with my yellow. I'm doing that so in the darker spots it'll give it a little bit more of a darker area. Now we're just going to lightly brush the orange on the sides. See how much darker that is? Just a little bit more dark. I like it. I'm just going to lightly wash it in. See, it gives it depth. I feel like the wings would be cool. They're clear, they're see-through, but maybe give them a little bit of a blue tone. So I watered down with a lot of extra water in the blue to where it's almost just water with a touch of blue, so it's see-through, it's, it's transparent. I'm just going over all this with the transparent blue watercolor. And notice closer to the body, I'm doing a little bit more blue. That's also to help with dimension because closer to the body, it'll kind of go in a little bit. It's also close to the body, which would block some light. So that helps with the contrast of the blue. Here it is, the finished B. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. You can do whatever image you want using these same techniques, the same materials. I usually airbrush on this channel if you didn't know, but watercolor is kind of fun. It's something different. So hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you'll do something of your own using these techniques, using these materials. <laughs>